exploring was why exactly we should care about consciousness. If we think, for example, that animals feel pain, we should care about it because they, they, there is some kind of moral responsibility that we feel and they feel about it. If we think that they can be treated like uh, cabbages, that's a different, uh, uh, that puts us in a different moral place. I think it's perfectly sufficient to say, well, you care about it if you listen, if you think about those questions and they bother you and, and you find it interesting to talk with other people about these questions and then you care. There's one other place where one might care about it which relates to patients who are in a coma, <clears throat> some proportion of whom are in so-called locked-in syndrome, the idea being, the fact being that they are conscious but are entirely unable to make any motor actions of any kind. So, I mean, there are a few cases where they can move one finger or one eyelid, but there, certainly there's a possibility that you would have someone who is conscious inside that head, but is unable to communicate in any way. And there's been a great deal of interest in, from my side of things, because my background is in brain imaging, is whether you can actually put such people in a scanner and whether they're somewhere discovering whether they're conscious or not. I do worry, in the context of animal welfare, about people thinking that the, the questions of how to treat animals hinge on the issue of whether the animals are conscious or not. Because the trouble is, to my mind, there's no good way of deciding that. So you have people like Descartes who say only, only humans are conscious, all animals are unconscious, you know, people like Eva, who puts the bar very low, pretty much uh, all animals we know. No, uh, no, no. No, 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 right, no, no, that's, no, that's not too quick. No, 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 not snails, uh, not mollusks generally. But apart from them, uh, we're probably all right. Uh, uh, she puts the bar very low. There are people in between who might say animals are conscious, but only if they can defer gratification, say. And so there's different places you might put the bar, and it's not clear how to resolve this question. But somebody might say, okay, it's, it's, it's all right to treat lobsters badly because, on my theory, they're not conscious. And I think we should put to one side the question of whether they're conscious or not and just think about what's going on in them from a, a psychological, neuroscientific point of view and what's going on with them behaviourally and decide how to treat them on that basis.